Good morning. It is a great pleasure for me to be here today and share with you my experience as an applicant for the Marie Sklodowska Curie Postdoctoral Fellowships. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to, to take advantage of the floor to say mm, thank you to the ISPC for giving me, and especially to my supervisor, uh, Emma Cantizani, for giving me all the necessary support for making a successful proposal. So I have to say you that I applied twice. I applied twice, both times with the ISPC as a host institution. The first time was in 2021, when we were close and obtaining the seal of excellence. And the second one was in 2022, when we improved the few weak aspects identified by the reviewers and we achieved the grant. I will start my presentation by briefly explaining my case, and then I will share with you what I think are the key aspects that will help you when writing your proposal, exemplifying them with my experience. I hope you find it useful. So, my case. Uh, I am a conservator of cultural heritage with a background in archaeology who a few years ago detected a gap in the scientific knowledge of a very specific type of sculptural remains found along the Silk Road. These sculptures are made in raw earth following a unique and very precise technique. The lack of scientific knowledge about materials and technique caused that there are no intervention protocols aimed at their conservation and valorization. With my doctoral thesis, I demonstrated that the technological knowledge related to the production of these sculptures was still alive in some regions of India and the Himalayas. For the Marie Sklodowska Curie Postdoctoral Fellowship, I explained the gap and I propose to go deeper into traditional knowledge to find more accurate and sustainable solutions for the conservation of archaeological examples in an innovative and interdisciplinary approach in the conservation discipline, combining archaeometry, the study of traditional knowledge, and material science. So, once presented my case, what are the main things that, after my experience, you should keep in mind to be successful? when writing your proposal. The first thing to keep in mind is the objectives of Horizon Europe in carrying out this grant. Highlighted in the official website of the program, these are to support researchers' careers and foster excellence in research and acquire new skills, gain experience in other countries, disciplines, and non-academic sectors. What does this mean? It means that is an action, especially for training, aimed at expanding or complement the capabilities and competencies of researchers with an original and innovative research idea whose results will have at least a clear impact on his or her field of knowledge. So, according to the objectives, what are the key issues in writing your proposal? The first one, and maybe obvious, is to have, an, to have an interesting or good research question, but also identify what you are missing to move forward on it. In my case, the question was, if we depend on the study of traditional knowledge of the monumental terracuda sculptures, it is possible to better understand archaeological sculptures and identify more appropriate and sustainable treatments and or materials to preserve them. The second key issue is to find a place and tutor to acquire the knowledge you lack to advance in your research and with it in your scientific career, while contributing in turn to the host institution. This means to create a dual transfer of knowledge. In my case, ISPC was a perfect institution to acquire advanced expertise in quantitative evidence-based methods applied to heritage conservation. Meanwhile, I could bring my experience in ethnography applied to conservation and restoration of cultural heritage. The third aspect is considering an interdisciplinary methodology that allows you to provide answers to your research and broaden your knowledge. Note, 
that interdisciplinarity is considered crucial to the extent that if you do not propose an interdisciplinary approach in your proposal, you will have to justify precisely why you do not consider it useful for your research. Fourth, make a two-year feasible research plan. You need a good question, but also a good and precise methodology to answer your question in two years. Don't want to explain too much or answer too many questions. You have only two years and your progress should look feasible in this short period of time. Secondary issues. To answer your question, you need a good background and a realistic expectation of success with a clear impact at all levels. In your professional career, in my case, to become a leading expert on the topic of monumental terracotta sculpture and providing me expertise in quantitative evidence-based methods applied to heritage conservation. At the scientific level, to explain how your research will advance your discipline. In my case, bringing new scientific life light on the understanding of the Silk Road monumental terracotta sculpture, the project will contribute to clarify and solve the scientific questions surrounding the origin, evolution, and dissemination of the artistic tradition, proposing an innovative perspective beyond current, st current state of the art studies, lacking a proper material science approach. At societal level, who are the potential social beneficiaries of your research? In my case, mainly were the holders of tradition and the project will help to valorize and potentially contribute to the preservation of their unique traditional knowledge, dedicating important efforts to public dissemination and local community engagement for achieving this impact. At economical level, what will be the economical benefits of your research, patents, copyrights or other? In my case, I added new opportunities for developing more sustainable treatments applied to terracruda sculptures, exploring new green materials, consolidation products, more compatible, sustainable, but also locally available, which could be applied to clay-based mortars, also in other fields, such architecture. Be inspiring and focus it. Your reader will probably not be interested in your research and will probably not be an expert on your topic. Play with bold, bold characters to highlight aspects and add as much tables as possible, helping to summarize and to understand the research project. In this sense, it is essential to approach your research as a story with a beginning, the question, the development, a feasible methodology, and an end, the expected results and their impact keeping the reader's attention so that he or she does not get lost and must reread the text. The tertiary issues. There are no primary, secondary or tertiary issues. This is very important. Everything is important. It is in the application form. If it is in the application form, it matters and it must be included. Gender aspects, open science, contingency plan. In my case, for example, I did not include gender aspects in my first proposal because I thought I was studying artifacts and I was not important and I was penalized for, for it. The second time I added the question of studying why only men make these sculptures in society, in societies that preserve the artistic technique. You have to keep in mind that all the proposals that successfully, successfully address all the required aspects will have a chance of being funded. And this, is, uh, the, this last sentence is an extract from the application form. And here we have the reviewers checklist, who follows a template looking for all the aspects that should be included in the proposal. And he or she does not find them, she or he will give you less points. A tip, follow the order indicated on the application form. For example, if open science practices is in excellence, you must include these aspects, this aspect in excellence. As an example, in my first proposal, I included open science practices in the EPAC section, more than in excellence as asked. 
Probably for this, the reviewer in my first proposal considered that open science practices were insufficiently described. Nine, without the first, the second, and the tertiary key aspects, you will be not able to properly expose your research and add all the necessary requirements. You will be not able to build a perfect research project. You should keep in mind that normally for all disciplines, the score required to be found is higher than 9.2. This means that you must build a practically perfect project. You have to assemble a puzzle in which all the pieces have their function and are necessary. They have to be perfectly connected and nothing can be missed. This is the only way to achieve a full understanding that will enhance the value of the proposal research and the researcher, proving that she or he deserves to be found. And I think there is nothing more to say, uh, uh, only to, to wish you good luck. And I'd remain at your disposal at the end of the meeting for any questions you may have. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.